Tights TV. Uh, transfer rumours uh, been gathering some pace lately on social media. Some players will be coming out, coming out with will be well known. It's been well documented on social media. One of them being uh, Donovan Pines from DC United. Uh, we knew we were at the game, his last home game. Up in stands watching. Um, apparently, we made an approach, we've talked to him. What I can find out is out of contract. And he went back to America the Wednesday after the game. Uh, still waiting to see if he's, you know, if he's made his mind up or out. Digging into his history, we all kind of know what, you know, what he's bought, what he's done to a uh, US uh, team and stuff like that. But also, Anderlecht last season had a two million pound bid rejected or two million euro bid rejected. Uh, now he's out of contract, so there might be more better options for him, um, unless he wants to come and cut his teeth in League One with Barnsley. Would it be a, a decent addition? Yeah, I think he would be a decent addition to the squad. Uh, knocking on the door because we all know the defensive area. So again. Donovan Pines well know about, so I'll move on from him. Another central defender, Jack Shepard. Um, Rumours gathering pace, but not been concrete and not been confirmed as yet on about potential loan move to Doncaster Rovers. Again, an interesting move. They were on verge early on that season, gaining into the squad, into the first team, and then is like playing cup games and then he's not gaining the squad. So again, Another central defender, but or another one of our players going out potentially on loan to Doncaster Rovers. Another player as well, Conor McCarthy. Not in favour at the minute in first team affairs, playing in cup games, but not getting included. But he's been linked. I've, I've read certain reports to Swindon Town. Whether it's a permanent or a loan move, I'm unsure at the minute. But again, that seems to be gathering pace up. A couple of players we've been linked with as well. Uh, there's one a bit of surprise. And I'll come to this bit of surprise in a minute. But Herbie Kane, another player that's been linked heavily uh, with Bristol City and Plymouth, Argyle. We all know about Herbie Kane being out of contract at the end of the season. Again, a bit of a Marmite player, some like him, some are not right bothered. Some made a, you know, his recent uh, social, uh, uh, news interview, uh, I think one. Well, a football uh, radio oven Sheffield, and again, you can't knock him for his goals, his contribution when he has been doing. But is it another player that's maybe go elsewhere? Can we cash in on him? I think if we get half a million, six hundred, seven hundred thousand pounds for a player going out to end his contract, is it a good deal? Maybe if you could get a player in and a player that's been linked to be coming into Barnsley is Id uh, I'll, I'll try to pronounce it right Idris or Idris L Mizzoni, 23 year old from Leighton Orient. Good amount of uh, League One clubs uh, all interested in him. I think I'm right in believing that we, we have like mid approach, you know, we are very, very keen on fetching in him. Um, and again, a 23 year old. Would it be seen as an ideal replacement for Herbie Kane? Yeah. Would it be seen as a, a an ideal addition to the squad, the team? Yeah. So again, another player that ticks the boxes, very highly rated. And again, will we be able to get a deal done to fetch him in on a permanent deal? A permanent deal. That'd be interesting. Um, another player that's been linked, Niall Ennis. 24-year-old from Blackburn Rovers. I'm undecided with this one because is there some injury issues? He went on loan to Plymouth Argyle and I think he scored 13 goals for them and five assists, which is fine. But is it a player that we're wanting? It's looking like it's going to be a loan until end of the season. We've already got players out as, as own out on loan. So it's a bit of a weird one, this. Fetching a player in on loan when we've got, for me, Marsh, who should be involved, I think, more involved in first team affairs. We've got Dallas out on loan, Shaw out on loan. And again, it seems to be that 
would he would would Nile come in and make, really make a difference? Uh, I'm, I'm a bit unsure about this, and uh, especially with it being a loan deal. Um, I think there's other areas that need to be recruited better and more. I haven't even touched on goalkeeper situation. I'm hoping that we can get something sorted out with Roberts. Um, get it tied down. But for me, I think we should be looking at more as a defensive unit. Um, a player I would have back, though, in attack. And I know that we have made tentative approaches. We we are interested in is This will be an interesting one for, for comments. James Norwood. Certain so things have been on social media where James Norwood was still in his balance kit. Um, we all know the issues with Khalid, etc. Early on in the season. I remember watching him play in the preseason friendly his only game against Crew. He scored and he were on you know on the verge of you know being involved in current affairs, having signed that extension um in you know in close season. So a bit of a weird one this where all of a sudden we'll link with Exxon when he went out to Oldham. You can just get him out of the club. We are interested in James Norwood. I would welcome him back. This was a bit interesting, this, because we were appalled on by BFC Marcus Pauls. When he signed his one-year extension contract when we triggered it, I think it was 90, 90%. Well, you know, yeah, good move that. Kind of player that is really bought into the, the fabric at club. He knew what it meant. All being well, he was bringing it on training pitch as well for uh, youngsters around us. And then when he went, people like saying, oh, yeah, we're cashing on him, he's too old. You know, we, we've got X amount of pounds for him, he's off at wage bill. So, again, it's like, well, hold on a minute. We were all like saying, yeah, this is the kind of player we're on. Then it was, oh, yeah, we, we need this, uh, we're cashing on him, so we're done right, he's not getting any younger. I'm like, wow, really? How can it change so in a matter of weeks? So, for me, I would welcome James Norwood back. I think he'd... Um, he definitely do a job for Barnsley. He definitely get him putting them on for defenders. I think we're missing that. Um, but again, it, it'd be an interesting one. Um, let me know your thoughts about James Norwood. Potentially, you know, would you have him back if it, you know, if it tipped the boxes, would he come back? Covered players, Devante Cole, again, he's always going to be interested in, in lad scoring double figure goals. Would he make a step up to the championship? Who knows? Would you turn down a bid what come in for him? And again, another player out of contract. Potentially, if we got out like a million and a half, a million, would you cash in on him? Would you cash in on him? Um, I think you'd have to give some serious consideration, bearing in mind, contract up at the end of the season. Is he a player that, if we get the money from, are we going to get it in instalments or are we going to get it up front? That's another debate. If we're going to just get it in instalments, would you rather keep him until end of season and then either sign his contract or he goes? I would like to think that we get the money up front and if that money's up front, then we could invest it in the squad. We all know about the, the fans forum, about the previous money from the summers, saying that oh, we've just got million instalments we just said a million pound up to now so again yeah it might be good over the next x amount of years we're getting back income coming in but are you really going to be able to invest in squad and people will be saying you know oh yeah but we never we never going to spend millions on players and this other I totally get that i'm not asking to spend millions on players that's that be responsible not just as as fans but as club itself but if we'd have got like a chunk of say, the I don't know. Mads Anderson, rumoured to be three and a half million, could say. Gone to Luton Town, just been promoted to Premier, so they're going to get a nice chunk from, you know, the, the TV rights. After that, say, X amount of millions, would it have been nice to go out and say, yeah, we could get a player for three, 300 grand or 400 grand, whatever. Young player, invest, potentially bigger earnings, because it happened with Mads Anderson. When we bought Mads Anderson in rumour to be around about 750 to 900 grand. So again, you get that bit of income in, you, you benefit, you, your financial reward eventually, because we all know we're a selling club, I'm going to be greater. 
Uh, Kyron Lofthouse come back, so shout out to him. Bobby Assel has identified that. He's coming back off his loan from Gates, I believe. So again, is this going to be step up things with Shepherds going out on loan? McCarthy going out on loan, Robbie Cundy still injured. So Lofthouse is going to get involved in more in first team affairs. Again, there's a lot of a lot of rumours circulating about with, with players, which it always is. But after all them, I think we, we all identify that it's the defensive area that needs showing up. Again, uh, I just sell Mazzoni from Leighton Orient. Yeah, I would, because I know he's like very favourable. He's very very favoured, sorry, with other clubs as well. So I think that'd be a, a massive, massive cool that like, if we could uh, get that uh, of a line. Again, up front, it's a bit of an unknown. Will a lot depend on if call goes. So again, I've given you give you players what's been linked or rumoured. Donovan Pines from DC United, Jack Shepard going out on loan as is uh sorry. Jack Shepard possibly going out on loan to Danny Rovers. As could Conor McCarthy possibly go out uh, on loan. Herbie Kane, again, got uh, fanciers from Bristol City and uh, Plymouth. Niall Ennis, we rumoured to be interested in him, a 24-year-old striker. Again, look at, look, look about him, look, you know, see what he, what he could bring to the team. Idris El Mazzoni from Leighton Orient. And James Norwood. So... Some players there, some players there to get your teeth into. Um, it would be interesting to see what happens. You know, we're only a couple of weeks into transfer window. See what happens. I would like the goalkeeper situation sorted out as well. Uh, up to now, fingers crossed, Touchwood is still a Barnsley player, Roberts, um, albeit on loan. And I'm hoping that, you know, we can make that permanent. But yeah, thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know your thoughts about the players what's been mentioned. Let us know, know your thoughts about players that I've not mentioned and what you've heard about. We need to see what areas that we need to strengthen up on. January, we've got a fair few fixtures coming up as well. So we'd like to think we get some deals off at line, get them into uh, first team uh, squad, get them in training, get them brought up to match speed as well. So again, that's luxury we can't afford, fetching a player in. It's going to be two or three weeks, maybe, before he's involved in first team affairs because he's got to get back up, you know, into match team, uh, match sharpness, sorry. So, again, there's a, a lot of, a lot of, uh, sorry, again, a player in, but we're needing to be included in the, in the squad, not to be, how oh, well, we're still training because you've got to bring him up. So, again, we can't, we can't afford that, especially where we are in the league. We need to uh, progress and move on. And all being well in the right direction going upwards uh, with fixtures around us. So, yeah, that's my transfer rumours, what I've heard, what I've read. Um, let me know your thoughts. As always, appreciate appreciate your uh, views, your comments, your likes and subscribes. It means a lot. One thing left to say, you reds.